Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about torque wrenches. You may have seen on my channel that I do motorcycle maintenance series, I've done videos to help new riders and that fits into both of these things. Torque wrenches are a thing that you will need eventually when you do maintenance to your own motorcycle. Um, I know a lot of people will say you don't need torque wrenches, you use mechanical sympathy, um, you know, do it up till it cracks and loosen it off half a turn, mm, click. So. Yeah, I do understand that some people don't think you need these things, but the truth of it is, you kind of do. I'm sure you'll know this is just a normal ratchet, reversible ratchet, okay? A torque wrench is very much like this, apart from the fact that with this system on the back here and a head that moves and clicks, you can actually dial in how much torque force, how much turning force, how tight you want that nut or bolt to be, and it will click to let you know when you're at that point. So the torque wrench itself is pretty simple. They generally look like this if it's a mechanical one. They come in smaller and larger sizes, you can see. That's because they have different torque values that they will do bolts up to. You get your torque figures from your bike's manual or service manual, or you can even look online for information, but obviously be careful because you might get the wrong figures. Those values will either be in Newton meters, NM, or foot pounds, FT, LBS. Uh, this torque wrench happens to have both on it, which is very handy. This small one's only got newton meters. You often get given a conversion table with the torque wrench, but I tend to use uh, an app to do the conversions if I need to, but normally everything's in newton meters, so I'm fine. On the small one, you can see this starts at five and ends at 25, and on this one, it starts at 30 and ends at 210 newton meters. So, small one for small jobs, large one for large jobs. To give you some example torque figures so you know what sort of size torque wrench you're going to need, um, small bolts on a bike like engine casing bolts, um, the bolts on your handlebars, things like that are around 9, 10, 11, 12 newton meters. A spark plug is 12 and a half newton meters on my bike, where opposed to something like a axle nut might be something like 80 newton meters, maybe 90 newton meters, and things like caliper bolts are around 60 yokes around 40 things you know they're the sorts of figures so you are going to actually need a range if you want to have a couple of torque wrenches to torque up the important things you're going to probably need two torque wrenches like this obviously this isn't hard and fast but this little one was about 20 25 pounds i wouldn't want to spend any less than that on a small torque wrench this one was 45 uh, and i probably wouldn't want to spend this little but this was bought as a stopgap tool um, but it actually turns out it looks very nice I'm, I'm quite impressed so the rule doesn't always follow but yeah you do if, if you're going to be doing an important job it's worth having a trustworthy tool otherwise just you know what was the point of doing it in the first place so that covers what they are why you want one and the sort of scales that you're going to be using when you use one now is the question is how do you set a torque wrench you'll notice that here we've got a scale that got all our numbers either side of it newton meters make sure you get this the right way around um, and let's say that we wanted 62 newton meters well each number has got a line that goes along comes down and diagonals the bottom of that line is the point that it is that number you don't want it underneath this one that's a false reading this is the case with this torque wrench and my other one it may be different with other ones read your instructions but on this one it is the bottom line so what we're going to go for 62 newton meters so if we look here it goes 30 40 50 60 so what we need to do is get this up to that bottom line so you loosen off the locking screw here And then we twist this until it is underneath the line on zero. Zero, two, four, six, eight. So we know because we're at the bottom line of the zero, on zero, we're at 60 Newton meters. So to do 62, it's easy as that. Then go back to the end cap and tighten this up and then it won't move. So just remember, bottom line to give you your 10 value, so 60, with a zero, and then that's 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, and you'll now see we're back to zero at the bottom of the 70 line. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, and we're now at the bottom of the 80 line. 
Now that's with a larger torque wrench that only gives you full numbers. On the smaller ones, you're gonna get point numbers. Now, generally, just round it up. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be that important, but if you are in a job where point figures are important, um, the way you would do it with the smaller one, let's say we wanted 9.2 newton meters. So, same system. Loosen this off. Screw this up until it says nine. I think we have it nine there. And we want 9.2, what it says, 0 0.5 and one. So these are obviously tenths. There you go, 9.2. A couple of things to mention for care for a torque wrench is one you should decompress it before you put it away you know just don't have it wound all the way up here to its tightest point and also don't use it in place of one of these you only really want to use a torque wrench to do things up you never want to undo something with a torque wrench i mean yes i think you can actually use them to find out how sort of the breaking strength of you undoing something but generally you don't need to know that so you know Use them to do things up finally. Even do things up mostly with this. Well, not do them up, you know, get them to nipped and then move to this to actually do the final tightening. Uh, you'll only knock your tool out of calibration faster if you don't. It's also worth mentioning here that obviously, like normal ratchets, the spindle size is different. If you find yourself in a situation like me where your torque wrench has got the quarter inch spindle, you can actually use one of these adapters which takes it from a smaller size to a larger size to allow you to use that socket as long as you're not going overly you know, tight because you're putting a lot of strain on your spindle when you increase the other one. Um, it will still work in its calibrated form because it's still testing how hard this is being spun, uh, how much torque is on it regardless of the size of the spindle. Or you can just buy a second set of sockets so to give you an example, do this bolt up here, then we're going to set this to, what should we go for? Uh, let's go for 15 newton meters just to make it easy. So there we are, under the bottom line of the 15, at the zero, or let's make it 15.1. There we go, very precise. Then, obviously make sure your direction is correct, and you have the right size socket. And then we tighten it up and wait for it. See that? We'll do the same thing. Watch the head. You see, that's quite a lot of movement to let you know you've reached that point. And that's all it does. When it hits its right point, it does that. So we now know this is at 15.2 Newton meters. Obviously, if you go beyond this click, you can still keep turning and you can over tighten things that way. So you only go to the point that it goes click. I normally like to just go click, click, and I know I'm okay. So we'll get it up to 25 Newton meters and it should turn a little bit and then it will do it again. Only a tiny bit. Now to give you a laugh in this video, this is a stainless steel bolt and stainless steel nut. I'm gonna use my larger torque wrench and I'm gonna keep increasing the torque value until it snaps and it, all the threads let go. Just to give you an idea of where this sort of size is gonna let go. Straight to 40 Newton meters. Fifty. Sixty. Oh, it's getting easier. And there you go, that's what torque wrenches are designed to help avoid. Only 60 newton meters, which wasn't that much force on a you know foot and a half long bar, was enough to shear this bolt clean in two. So there you go, that is what a torque wrench is, why you should use them and how to use one. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. As I say, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, I'm on my way to 100K and I'd love to have a button to stick on my wall. And uh, also, if you'd like to really help support this channel, please consider joining my Patreon, which gets you into Discord and uh, you get videos early and all sorts of other benefits, as you can see on the screen now. 
Thank you very much to my patrons that do that. Without you, this would not be possible. I really do appreciate it during this very difficult time right now. Uh, during this, this is being filmed during COVID lockdowns. Um, your lifesavers. Anyway, until the next one, bye-bye.